Intensity of polarized light. A beam of unpolarized light of intensity I0 passes through a series of ideal polarizing filters with their polarizing axis turned to various angles as shown in figure. So first transmission axis is vertical axis, second transmission axis makes 60 degrees with the vertical axis and the third one is at 90 degrees with respect to the vertical axis. Part A, what is the light intensity in terms of I0 at points A, B and C? And part B, if we remove the middle filter, what will be the light intensity at point C? This is going to be polarization by selective absorption. So if we have uh, an electric field uh, that is oscillating with a magnitude E0, uh, so for example, this is E0 cosine x minus omega t plus phi is the electric field component of the uh, incoming electromagnetic wave. The transmitted intensity IT is basically uh, the incident intensity times cosine square of the angle theta with respect to the polarization direction of the incoming wave and the transmission axis. This is our Malice law. Okay, so uh, if the incoming electric field has a magnitude E0, then uh, the transmitted electric field uh, magnitude will be equal to E0 cosine theta and the transmitted intensity is proportional to uh, ET squared which will be uh, basically equal to I0 cosine squared theta. So we take the projection of the incoming electric field to the uh, transmission axis. Now if we have all possible angles here uh, because the unpolarized light has different uh, all possible angles with respect to the vertical axis, uh, we will have an average value of uh, cosine squared theta that is basically 1 over 2 pi, 1 over the period, integral over 1 period, 0 to 2 pi, cosine squared theta d theta, and this will be given by 1 over 2 pi, integral from 0 to 2 pi 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 is cosine 2 theta so this is cosine 2 theta plus 1 over 2 d theta so if we perform this uh, integration we would find uh, the uh, average value of cosine squared theta is 1 over 2 pi the integral of cosine theta over 2 gives us uh, 1 over uh, 4 sine 2 theta. And then the integral of 1 over 2 d theta gives us theta over 2. So this gives us plus theta over 2. This will be evaluated between 0 and 2 pi. At 0, you can see that sine will give us a 0 and theta will be 0. So we just need to evaluate at 2 pi. So this will give us 1 over 8 pi sine 4, theta, 4 pi plus uh, theta equals 2 pi divided by 4 pi. So we obtain here 1 over 2 because this is 0, right? So this is 0. Okay, so uh, we find that the transmitted intensity at point A will be IA will be I0 divided by 2 because it's basically uh, I0 times cosine squared theta average value averaged over all possible angles. The intensity at point B, on the other hand, will be intensity at point A multiplied with cosine squared theta of A with respect to uh, of B with respect to A. Let's say 
or let me call this uh, polarizer uh, 1, polarizer 2, polarizer 3. So that would be theta 2, 1, 2 with respect to 1. And that's basically the angle between this transmission axis and this transmission axis is 60 degrees. So it's going to be intensity at point A multiplied with cosine square 60 using Malice law. Intensity at point A is I0 divided by 2. Cosine 60 is 1 over 2. So it's 1 over 2 uh, square. We obtain here I0 divided by 8. And intensity at point C is uh, intensity at point B cosine square uh, theta 3 with respect to 2. So the angle between these two transmission axes is uh, 30 degrees because we have 60, 90, 90 minus 60, 30 degrees here. So this will be intensity at point B cosine square 90 minus 60 uh, squared. And this will give us intensity at point B cosine square 30 I0 divided by 8 uh, intensity uh, for cosine 30 we have square root 3 over 2 square root 3 over 2 parentheses squared so this gives us 3 I0 divided by uh, 32 so intensity at point A is equal to I0 over 2 Intensity at point B is equal to I0 over 8. And intensity at point C is equal to 3I0 over 32. We obtained this using Malice law by considering the angle variation from one uh, polarizer to the other. So the what matters here is the angle difference between uh, this one and this one that is 60 and this one and this one that is 30 so uh, for the unpolarized light we have to calculate all possible uh, angles so you can think of this as this light has been polarized by polarizers with all possible angles for the transmission axis and uh, so that's the average value of cosine square theta d theta that is one half so the unpolarized light loses half its intensity when it goes through a polarizer okay so uh, for part b we remove the middle filter so if we remove the middle filter, remove the middle filter, what is the angle of 3 with respect to 1? 3 with respect to 1 is 90 degrees. So we would have IC equals to uh, intensity at point A I0 over 2 multiplied with cosine square 90 which is 0 so we would find that the intensity at point C in this case will be 0 watts per meter square okay so in this problem we have a light that is incident on a set of three polarizers first in part A. Using Malice law, we find that an unpolarized beam uh, going through a polarizer loses half of its intensity because all angles with respect to the transmission axis are possible. The transmitted electric field is the incoming electric field times cosine theta. So we take the projection of the incoming electric field with respect to this axis. Since electric field oscillates in all directions, we have the average value of cosine squared theta, which we have shown to be one half. So the intensity at point A is half of the in incoming uh, light intensity, I0 over 2. Now when we go to port point B, we have a polarized light. So this light has been polarized in this direction. That's in the vertical uh, direction. Now we're going through a trans um, 
another polarizer with a transmission axis making 60 degrees with respect to this so cosine square 60 gives us a factor of 1 over 4 so uh, i0 over 8 is the intensity at point b now at this point this light is polarized at 60 degrees angle with respect to the vertical so uh, but we are trying to polarize it at 90 degrees so we take the projection of this electric field component to this transmission axis cosine 30 so cosine 30 squared gives us the effect on intensity which is uh, square of square root 3 over 2 so we obtain 3i0 over 32 so the intensity decreases progressively going from uh, point A to point B to point C if we remove the fiddle, middle filter on the other hand, then we have light that is polarized on the vertical axis and we're trying to take its projection onto an axis that is perpendicular to it. Because cosine 90 is zero, then there will be no light transmitted from this polarizer. So if this is gone, then we will lose all of the intensity in this polarization process.